What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be checking out Sunday Gold Prologue. This is like a teaser for the upcoming game Sunday Gold. I believe they showed the trailer for it during the future game show last June. The game itself is gonna be coming out on September 13th, so a little over a month from now. And I typically don't play this style of game, but I kind of like the visual style, so I figured I'd just, you know, give it a look. It's free to play. Uh, it's out on Steam as we speak, so, you know, why not? So let's give it a shot. my pet. Uncle Frank has his well in hand. Scored this coat off a of mate down at the grind. Cost me a pretty penny. Now we head to the roof, jump across to the neighbors, hop into our waiting truck, down the hidden alley, and off to the buyers. All sweet and tidy and just like that. Come on, Frank. We need to vacate these premises. Now! Just another typical shit night in the big wet. Rules is rules. No fighting in the pub. Now get lost! Hey, I'm pretty sure this is where we come in. Uh, click. Logan ask is it had it coming. Shit, where'd my compad go? Okay, so how do we... Okay, is it just New left click? Man. What's this about? End of the line, Frank. Your due date is fast approaching, and it's time for you to settle your debt. Pay up! Always settle it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> awesome accent. <laughs> Suppose it was only a matter of time before they caught up with me. Still no way I'll be able to make that date. Where the hell is Sally? She was supposed to be here 20 goddamn minutes ago. Hey Frank, almost there. Got stuck in bloody bridge traffic. Meet you at the Eggman in a bit. Don't worry, this is worth it. Well, that's promising. Now I just need a way back into the pub. Mission progress in the mission logger in the main HUD. Okay. Are you gonna tell me how to get there? Refer to the database for more info on the game's world and its gameplay elements. Okay. So it's like a point and click kind of adventure. So it costs action points. So we got seven action points? Right. Perform actions is determined by their AP. Action points are also used in combat to perform attacks and use skills. Okay. So move two is free. Still costs money. Uh, action points to talk. Okay, wait. Let's check out the database. Objectives. Secondary. Optional. Okay. We got our boy Frank. One of three. Okay, and we got a butterfly knife. Hell yeah. So we need to get back into the pub. We got some 
thug looking characters back there. Let's talk to this dude. Piss off, Ninja. You're blocking me. <laughs> Sunlight. Ain't daytime, you pickled toss pot. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Asshole. Hell's bells. Can't walk a block without tripping over a drunk ass bum. Dude, seriously? For a minute, you you think I'm going to lend you Margaret? <laughs> How's about I smash your fucking kneecap instead? You just call that crowbar Margaret. <laughs> She's a girl then. Give me some bloody change, will you? I'm dying, dying of thirst. <laughs> Why don't you take a nice nap instead? Piss off. Not giving my girl Margaret to a greedy scummer like you. Shh. You're all right, girl. You're all right. <laughs> Poor Margaret. Borrow the man's crowbar. Okay, so I have a feeling he wanted some change. That we're going to find some change in the telephone box. Uh -oh. Uh, I feel like it's going to be worth searching. Bingo. Can equip weapons and gear in the inventory. They can also use consumable items to manage their hit points, action points, and composure. Okay. Oh. Shut up, car. All right, well. So we're now climbing up there. Uh, right. Oh, so we got the inventory here, which is got a hotkey. Weapons, we do have a knife. Cool, so it applies bleed. Um, key items. Right. And. I wonder why it said there was new stuff in the database. Down on this lock hero of the revolution. There you go, mate. Nice kebab will probably do you some good. Ha! More like time for old Mickey boy to buy himself a bottle of something nice and strong. Okay, so he's buzzed off, which means we can now. Wait, we don't have enough action points. Demo and general mischief. Ending the turn restores action points and starts the event phase. Events can modify the alert level or trigger a combat to name a few possibilities. Okay. You're a fucking cop! Please! 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 No! 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 Bloody hell. Sounds like someone's having a bad night. Probably even worse than mine. Okay, so how do we... Okay, that's not it. Be 
This is why you always pay the boss back on time. What's the drama, Ian? Did he turn down your romantic advancements? Very funny, Barber. He's a week late, so boss sent me to collect 200 quid and leave him with a few reminders. We all know how much you love your work. Saw your name on the collections list for next week, Barber. With what you will. Or be scoring me some overtime. I'll teach you to mind your own business. Uh-oh. I knew I shouldn't have gotten involved. Wait, he's level nine? Uh, oh, okay. Um, actions in the game cost action points. Uh-huh. Performing act attacks and using skills costs AP can be restored by ending the turn or by performing the guard action. Some consumable items and skills. Characters maximum maximum action point determines how many AP they restore each turn during exploration. Action point surge attribute determines how many AP they restore when performing the guard action in combat. Uh, okay. Piercing, slashing, blunt, electronic. Enemies have resistances and weaknesses. Take double when they are weak. Half when they are resistant. Okay, okay. Represented by the shield icon, indicate the enemy's capacity to protect themselves from incoming attacks. When an enemy has no defenses left, they take increased damage from attacks and they can't act while they recover. The enemy was charging an attack. They lose their defenses, their attack is cancelled. After recovering for a short time, the enemy's defenses are restored and they can act again. Man, that's a lot of uh, information right before and uh, combat. Attacks require time to prepare. Enemy charges an attack, its target or targets are indicated. The enemy's attack can be interrupted by reducing their defenses to zero before the attack is unleashed. If the target guards against the attack. They completely avoid the damage and enemy losses, loses some of their defenses. Guard action. Performing guard action restores the number of AP equal to the hero's action point surge value. While guarding, the character takes reduced damage from all attacks and completely avoids charged attacks. Yeah. Uh, so we got two action points. Uh, uh, is there a timer? I don't think there is. Um, let's go with guard. Uh -oh. Characters can be affected by buffs and debuffs. Buffs and debuffs affect the attributes. Move the mouse over a buff or debuff for more details. I don't see mine, but... So he's got knife resistance. against his next attack uh -oh. no happening <laughs> wait that goes back up We almost have him now, though, right? Sweet dreams. I'm getting too old for this shit. Okay. <laughs> I can still kick ass like a younger. Hell yeah, let's get some XP from that. Okay. That's a decent little water goodness. Yeah. Not quite enough to choke a donkey or fix my loan situation. Quite enough to pay off my bar tab. Let's search him. Painkillers. Okay. So what do we pick up? Restores a small number of HP. If you can't feel the pain, are you really hurt? Uh, true. 
We got 97 out of 100, so that's fine. Key items. 200 pounds. Okay. And then... Oh, so this is like... Th this lists everything we come across. Okay, okay, okay. Staggered. Damage resistance. Avoidance. Okay, so those are debuffs. Buffs is... Okay. Okay. So what can we do here? Firecrackers. Ooh, shopping list. Cake, balloons, bike. Bike. Huh. I suppose he was planning a birthday party. That money must have been earmarked for the bike. I'll take these firecrackers. Could be useful to draw someone's attention. Wait, so he's still alive. Yeah, and we have minus two action points. That actually kind of sucks. <laughs> Turn the cash. Eh. Let's not. Eh. Not even think about it, Frank. No worries, Bob. Just wanted to make sure you would hear this in case of an emergency or something. I heard you just fine. Wait. What happened back there? No idea, mate. They were already like this when I got here. Overserved, probably. Uh, I'll take care of this later. Now, quit mucking about and back off, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweetheart indeed. Okay, so those we can just examine. Let's see, is there anything else out here? Oh, I see. Um, we got four action points. Oh, nice. Wait, what did we just get? Resistant. Doesn't say w what exactly, just resistant. Oh, wait, it restores a small amount of composure. Okay, 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 okay. And then, I'm guessing the database is... Right, just repeats the same stuff. Okay, what if we... End the turn, since it's still safe, I think. Right. I made in the alley. Now's my chance to get back inside. Sounds like a plan. How do you have an old laugh? Hey, you two, don't go starting shit near again. Right, over here. All right. Catch up with Sally, sure, but and borrow some painkillers, as one does. Uh, okay, so there's Sally. Basement, bartender. 
There you go. Sorry about earlier. Don't talk to me. What? Oh, I was just talking to Sam, mate. I'll never be sorry about your bloody mug. Hell, it might even look better now. Cut it out, Frank. For fuck's sake. So let's see, what else can we do here? Has this clock ever worked? It'd get fixed right quick if certain customers paid their tabs once in a while. What? You're gonna pay for your bloody tab? Is this a dream? Got the money right here, darling. I hope this isn't from another one of your loans, Frank. Oh, now don't you go worrying your pretty little head about my finances. Frank has everything sorted. How the hell did you get back in here, Frank? Bouncer and I talked it out. <laughs> Something like that. My ass, you two talked <laughs> out. Well, here I am. For better or worse? Worse. Definitely worse. Ouch. Okay, so the actions do run out. That's kind of cool. Um, basement or patron? Locked. Shove off your bloody ass! Easy, mate. Look, put your next pint on my tab, and we'll be square, all right? Reckon I will. See ya. Pour me a glass of hog and excelsior. Good label. Good to see it, man. Cheers, right there. <laughs> now tell me something. Why would a regular bloke like you idolize a rich prick like Kenny Hogan? Uh, he's not afraid to speak his mind. He knows what needs to be said. Even an honest prick is still a prick. Okay. I don't think there's anything else to do now, but... That seems to be it, I think. Right? Yeah. Oh, wait. TV. So you can basically left-click anywhere to go to the next uh, text prompt and stuff. Okay. Well... Let's do this. Well, shit, look at you, still in one piece. Bloody miracle, I'd say. No kidding. Figured you would have got yourself all chopped up over one of those loans you keep taking out. Why is my business everyone's business these days? Since everyone knows you haven't been able to pull anything top shelf in a while. Too right. How about you? Working a real job now, all legit and shit. Sally Wheeler working a real job. Who in the hell was desperate enough to hire someone like you? Dog rescue shelter. We take in the leftovers from the underground race leaves, fix them up, and find a place for them. People are still doing that shit. Don't they get enough from the King's League? King's League are reanimated monsters. Cybernetic killers. The underground shit is real dogs jacked up on crazy mids. Coming to you live from Hogan Telecom Stadium in sunny London for the opening ceremony of the Desmond Wells Cup. And what a wonderful day for a race it is, Tom. It was only 10 years ago on this very day that the first Desmond Wells Cup race was held. Boy, it's been quite a ride. Join us for more Desmond Wells Cup action. Fucking hell. Kings League is bad enough. What the fuck has happened to this country? Come on now. It's nothing that hasn't been happening for years. So here you can't just it left. Makes me yearn for oh, the good old mind. days it does. Back when we were robbing rich to feed the... Don't even say it, Frank. You were never a Robin Hood and you know it. Speaking of, you mentioned something about a job. I was going to say you can't left-click here. 
But you can left click in the portrait areas instead of this bar to progress to the next bit of dialogue. Just kind of trying to figure out the interface as we go along. Anyway. That I did. And here comes a man with an interesting story. Right, meet Gavin. The man's got some serious info for us. And has even agreed to come along for the full ride. Nice to meet you. Sally has told you having a laugh. What, we're knocking over a video game studio? Call me a tits, Frank. Gavin here is an Ogan Industries employee. Former Ogan Industries employee. Never catch me working for those pig fuckers again. Not after what they've done to me. Disgruntled ex-employee. Splendid. Let me guess. We're gonna help you blackmail your supervisor? No, Frank. It's not amateur hour. Gavin was in IT, and from what he tells me, he had access to every classified file in the company. Ooh. There's a fucking treasure trove of info on Hogan. Whole company's covering up some kind of secret operation. We just need the proof. And that's why I reached out. Saw Sally's comments on one of Lady Shell's posts. Did some digging. You two have made a bit of a name for yourselves. Hear him out, Frank. This could be good for us. Plan simple. We pop into Ogan Labs all nice and easy since I can badge us in. We go to my office and I scrape the Ogan files from the network. And where exactly do we come in? Well, I'm not supposed to be in there, and it's not something I can do remotely. You two, obviously, bring certain skills to the process. You know the drill, Frank. Muscle, firepower, knowing how to pick a lock. That's where we come in. Slip in, steal some computer info, slip out. Nothing else? No helicopters and rooftop chases? Nothing else. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, it's never fucking easy peasy. What are on these files exactly? Things you wouldn't believe. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. Okay, big man. And what do we do with these files once we have them? We sell them to Ogan's competition. Or ransom them back. Whatever happened to heists and good old fashioned robberies where all you needed was a bandana and a boomstick? It's easy money, Frank. Nothing is ever easy, mark my words. And bringing Junior here along is just inviting trouble. Okay, we got a new mission. Yes. Ooh, hold up. We got new abilities. Carefully aim shot that inflicts additional damage. Scan scans the room to reveal all the interactive objects. Oh, that sounds pretty dope. Even though you can just mouse over, right? And focus to mark an enemy so they take additional damage and become easier to hit. Ooh, that sounds solid. Allocating skill points, okay. Do we do that here? Now we just got more painkillers. Database has nothing. Skills. Okay. Long gun mastery. Aimed shot. So we already have that, right? Light melee. Ability to use light melee. Able to open mechanical locks without needing the proper key. Ooh, that sounds really good. Carefully aimed shot that inflicts additional damage. And leadership presence makes his allies more resistant to losses of composure. Yeah, this is definitely happening. So you can respec. Okay, that's awesome. Um, guns. Light melee weapons. We already have those though, right? So crit hit damage is plus 10%. Avoidance goes up by 1%. Oh wait, we already had level 1 for everything. Okay. Wait. Yes. Okay, so we have all four of these. I guess. Um. So this costs us action points. Okay, I see, I see, I see.
So if we have seven action points, we can do that and that in one turn. Um, so currently costs zero. So we can do this free of charge anyway. This just becomes cheaper. Um, now let's go with this. Actually, now let's go with melee. And focus. Okay. So what are we supposed to do now? What does the database say? Nothing. Oh, the mission log. Okay, so we completed the side missions. Why can't I lockpick it? Hold on a second. So... We already have this, right? Inventory, mission log. Surely we already have this. Is this it? How many times have I told you to stop bloody doing that, Frank? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that was it. Right? What's the bloody plan again? Seriously? We've been over it twice. Yeah, but I weren't really listening. Oh, you're a real true villain, ain't you? The plan is... We get Gavin back to his bloody office, so he can pull the server onto his compad. Once we have the files, we just walk right out. No mud, no blood. Huh, no blood. Like that ever happens. You're saying it's not a good plan? I'm just saying, no plan ever survives contact with the enemy. Oh, guys, I'm starting to think maybe this is not... Come on now, my son. It's lock and load time. Oh, maybe coming back here was a big fucking mistake. My heart's pounding. 
So he's got composure minus six. Uh, some actions or events will affect their composure. Each character has a unique composure attribute. Some characters may be better at coping with stress than others, even gaining bonuses as their composure decreases. Loss of composure affects characters in different ways, such as modifications to combat, activation of latent afflictions, panicking in combat. Can be managed with consumable items, abilities, and by performing certain actions. Right, so he likes his medicine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, right. Hey, that's Barry's car. What's he still doing here? Who's Barry now? He's head of security. Right, wanker too. If he's still here this late at night, we could be in for a spot of trouble. Watch yourselves. Ah. Uh. So I guess it's a good thing we didn't go for the open the door uh, prompt because it's gone now. Close it though. Can't. Twenty thirties. <laughs> Glove box is open. Um, yeah. Painkillers. Okay, that fixes his composure, so that's good. So he's got 94% composure. It's holding steady. What does this do? So I can select the characters to... Right. How did you get into lockpicking, Frank? Can't be going around smashing windows and kicking in doors all the time, despite what Miss Wheeler tells you. Whatever. When you need it done right, you know who you call. <laughs> well, sometimes you need to be discreet. And the blue bloods like to keep their valuables under lock and key. Just made sense to learn. Andy, how does it work? All I have to do is rotate my pick inside the lock until I find a sweet spot. Then I align the ring with the marker and I repeat for each ring. It's not rocket science, but it still requires finesse and good timing. Okay. Rotate the tool to find the moving sweet spot. Click to lock the ring. Uh, oh, I see. to lock them in the target areas inside the sweet spot. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we got one attempt left. Wait, somewhere over here? No. No, dude. <laughs> I can do this. Oh man, I'm 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 just lightning fast reflexes. Oh, 
Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, what? Okay, this kind of... So it's... It, it's tricky because it keeps moving. I also feel like my mouse sensitivity just went through the roof. Uh... Wait, where did it go? Come on. It's weird to kind of how to, uh... There we go. That was so bad. Disc that holds security footage from the CCTV cameras around the building. Oh. Find all security recordings. Okay, so Frank is chilling over there. Painkillers are everywhere, dude. <laughs> okay. So we got the maintenance room door. What is in the database? Weapons. Baseball bat. Brass knuckles. Rifle. Got Gavin and Sally. Um, why is the alert increased? Every turn, the alert level increases. Enemy encounters are more dangerous when the alert level is higher. Some actions can also increase or reduce the alert level. Alert status is unaware. Let's see. Okay, so what's our mission? Find all security recordings, but that's secondary. Download the data in the IT office. So we are playing as Gavin. Okay. Okay, so that's character highlight. Let's let's search it. Okay. Okay, so we've got two options. We've got the lift. Hold up. Okay, no reason to go in there. That's fair. Um, not powered on. Okay, so at this point, we only have the one option. Hang on a sec. Best security cameras watching that elevator. Might be a mistake to put ourselves on full display. Should be an easy way to disable them. We could shoot them. Or maybe look for a way to just turn them off. Yeah, Gavin's approach makes a bit more sense than, you know, firing guns in an office building. Sure, whatever. We need to find a security terminal. It controls the building's security systems remotely. Hmm? It should let us disable the cameras. Well, let's find the security terminal right quick and get this show on the road. Well, that's what I tried to do, but it... So I can't... Re re I can't work the cameras. Okay, let's see. Can I... Now it works. Sundergold tore through the other competitors, literally tore them apart. That pup is a right fucking killing machine. <laughs> Comes back stronger every year he does. Hey, what are you doing here? 
I guess hey, we're in combat what now. What the royal fuck are you doing in here? <laughs> Funny, I was just about to ask you ladies the same thing. So, shut it. You lot are about to get an ass kicking. Okay, so level four is technically low. Um... We're mostly good on resolve or composure, so let's go with... Patch up. Okay, so she's a healer. This dude. Ow. Okay, so he's got bleed. She should be able to finish him off. Hit points plus twenty percent. Nah. Why does she keep shooting the little guy, man? <laughs> uh, wait. Skills. That's an aim shot. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, plus it causes exhaustion. Um, guard or use consumable items to recover action points in order to. Okay. The enemies to attract their attention, boost the effect of healing consumables used by Sally. Oh, that sounds pretty solid. Well then, there goes the whole no blood bit. Yeah, yeah, shove it, Frank. Told you, no plan survives contact with the enemy. Body armor. Hold on now. He's got the lowest HP, I think. He could use the body armor. Wait, how is he at minus one? Oh, so we're all low on action points. Okay. Surveillance terminal. Wait, I think that you can select them by pressing one, two, or three, right. Oh, hell yeah. Stimulants, okay. Hold on, what do those do, exactly? Hyper, 
messes with the composure for how long though wait i didn't use that did i doesn't say for how long restores a few hit points and action points puts pip in your step okay Oh, no way. I didn't realize that this was the thing. Um, whatsoever. Charge the enemy and swing wildly to damage everyone. It overloads the cybernetic target systems to inflict damage. Alters medical consumables chemical makeup to improve its potency and reduce its negative side of food. But that doesn't restore our action points. So... Okay, so you kind of have to come out of combat. You have to come out of combat with action points. Um, that's a Gavin ability, so I need him to go there. Alley thing. Oh, damn. That's a lot of meds. I feel like we're in trouble. Okay, so he's got the scaredy cat effect. More prone to losing composure. So what can we do about that? There you go. What's you doing there, Gavin? See, I built this device that lets me interface with any password-protected system. 
It converts the encryption into a numerical code that can be deduced via trial and error. It gives clues as you make the guesses. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Sure. Totally. You enter a combination and the device tells you if you're close to the correct code. Then you're refined from there. Get it? Okay. I need to be careful, though. I only get a few attempts before the system kicks me out and resets. Right, so we got a few attempts. And it's like that old game. Uh, so, wait. So yellow is digit is correct, but in the wrong position. So... We're correct on the first six, and then it's not um, six, six, three, four. No way. Colors keep changing. It's kind of confusing. So two digits are correct in the right position. So that would be three one four six. Okay, so the thirty one is correct. Yeah, no, I, I realize that, but this doesn't make sense because the they, they, the little icons don't correspond to the digit. What the hell? planned for system D. And it's done. Brilliant. <laughs> the cameras are disabled. We'll be able to get into the lift without even being seen. See, Frank? Gavin's got skills. Sure. And probably a wonderful dose of the clap, too, you filthy creature. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Composure boost. That's good. Got some H. 
Alright, action points. Um, let's see. I don't see what the point is of changing the channel. Lizards. <laughs> or tranquillers or something. I, I, I'm pretty sure that had a double L in there. And all security recordings. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, I feel like we're going to need that for something. Tranquilizers. So I can't mess with that, can I? Okay. Bunch of posters, really? That doesn't uh, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Check those. Check that. Still weird that we can't mess with a panel at all. Okay. I think that's, uh... Let's get out of there. Still doesn't restore our HP, but... Alright, Gav. Which floor? 19. At least we're out of there. Oh! And already finished the prologue. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this typically isn't my type of game, but the way the story progresses, it's like it's got some momentum, it seems. I dig the voice acting, I'm digging the setting, I'm digging the animations, the interface, it's actually really cool. And yeah, the dialogues just kinda keep it moving. I'm, I'm digging this, I'm digging this for sure. Um, that's gonna be it for this vid though. Thanks a lot for checking out Sunday Gold Prologue with me. Give it a try yourself. It's free on Steam as we speak. And I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, take care. <laughs>